Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to our classic run on Super Smash Bros for the Nintendo 3DS Before we get started do me a huge favor and take two seconds out of your day to click on that like button for me Remember guys it really helps me out a lot and it goes a long way to show your support for the series Anyways by popular request today. I'm gonna to be playing as Shulk a lot of you guys suggested that I should play Shulk and I have to say for the first time ever last night I actually used Shulk in an online battle and he was amazing. He's a powerhouse between Shulk and all the fire emblem swordsmen in this game Shulk hands down is my favorite I used to main Ike a lot in Super Smash Bros Brawl and till today or till yesterday at least he was my favorite swordsman of any Super Smash Bros player and Shulk easily took that spotlight away from him Ike is uh, Ike is pretty good the thing that I don't like about Ike is how slow he is and how he has such a terrible recovery at least I really don't know how to recover with him in a good way so that's why I really didn't like Ike but Ike is a powerhouse and I know that's why some people plays him because he is a power machine and he deals lots of damage and he is considered cheap at least in some in some people's eyes like people consider Ike as a cheap character or noobs would only use him because you know he deals lots of damage and gets easy kills uh, but Shulk Shulk is the opposite. Shulk's actually really fast and has he's just incredible. Like I love Shulk. I absolutely love Shulk. So today I'm gonna to be playing as Shulk. And uh, right now I want you guys to leave your character suggestions on who you'd like to see me play as in the next episode. A lot of you guys suggested Duck Hunt, and I was surprised at that. Like a lot of people suggested Duck Hunt. But last night I actually uploaded a Super Smash Bros. run. I think it's called uh I uploaded a Smash Run, that's what it's called. I don't know why I forgot the name of that, but I uploaded Smash Run using Duck Hunt Dog and and if you want to check it out, go and check out my channel or click the link in the description to the playlist and that will show you all the videos that I currently posted on Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS. So, uh, if you just check back on the playlist often, you will not miss any video because I immediately add the videos to the playlist as soon as I upload them. But, like I said, today we're going to be playing as Shulk and uh, it looks like I'm going to uh, amp it up to like 7.5. Last time I did it on 6.5 uh, and I thought I did pretty well, so... I mean, it was easy. It wasn't like it was hard. It was easy, you know. I didn't struggle at all like I thought I would. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to put it up on 7.5, and hopefully we can make some gains. Let's go ahead and get started. And so it begins. The classic run with Shulk. Looks like we have three different routes. We could take Pac-Man, Sonic, or Mega Man. I'm going to take that Mega Man route because, you know, I've played with Pac-Man and Sonic multiple times, at least against them. So it's time for me to take on Mega Man again. Uh, and it's a 1v1. You know, I love 1v1s. I don't like it when it's like a, a four-way battle because it takes away from the characters and the screen. It kind of zooms out all the way and it doesn't, uh, I don't know, it just makes it really hard to focus on you. Um, especially if you're playing against three different computers, but when it's a 1v1 like this It makes it pretty easy uh, to focus on just the two players that are playing so I actually just remembered that something big's about to spawn I don't know what it is, but uh, it's gonna be this big yellow Robotnik like thingy that spawns and it starts shooting things at us So I gotta get away from here. Oh, he grabbed that pokeball. What is it? It's a Deoxys. Holy crap That Deoxys will launch its beam and I will die uh oh, oh, he's gonna toss, oh man, I knew it, I freaking knew it, he was going to try to toss me in or hit me into the beam, that's what computers do, and oh my god, I didn't even kill Mega Man, that thing killed Mega Man, man, that, that's, that's interesting how like sometimes, even on level 7.5, they will still die, not from you, but from the, the objects around them and whatnot. So there are three different routes. I'm actually going to take the Pokemon route in hopes that we can play in Lumio City because we haven't played in Lumio City yet. And I want to show it off. Please be... Yes! It's Lumio City! It's going to be a team battle. Team Red versus Team Blue. Lucario and Shulk versus Jigglypuff and Pikachu. This is going to be fun. Um, it's the very first time, I believe, that we're showing off Lumio City. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I love this music. It brings back so much memories from when I used to play X and Y. It's been a long time since I've played X and Y, but, you know... Uh, I'm gonna try to focus down Jigglypuff while he's while he's taken on. Oh my goodness, I did it. I took him out by tossing that thing in his face. I knew it. That's also another way to easily kill computers, is just try to toss them off the screen, or at least hit them off the screen. Um, and the thing is, when you do that, uh, it, it does speed up the battle, and you get faster, or get through it quicker, and Lucario just died. So it's a now a 1v1 between me and Pikachu. Uh, but the thing is, you don't get as many points. If the if the percentage of your computers or your opponents get, get higher, um, you get more points at the end. You guys will see what I'm talking about. Like, Rosalina still holds the most points ever 
uh, in classic run, she has like 300 some thousand points, which is nothing compared to what you can actually get. Um, and as you can see, those that's the points I got for that level, and I got 784 gold. I don't really do much damage to Pikachu, like, I could have killed him, but, you know, I spawned an assist trophy that did the, the job for me. Um, but that's okay, we are going to be taking on Giga Yoshi. Giant Yoshi, okay. Giant Yoshi. Sometimes also, actually a majority of the times, uh, you get to play against metal opponents, like metal computers. So I think we might have a metal uh, opponent battle in this one right here. But you know, battling against giant opponents are really easy, at least for me. Especially when they put like three computers on your, or two computers on your team, so it's like a 3v1. It makes it insanely easy. Um, Okay, let's just let me just try to focus down Yoshi though. I'm gonna try to get him in one small little spot. Oh, don't tell me he's gonna die. Oh, come on, Yoshi, you can live. Don't die. It'd be pathetic if he died right now, cause it's like 7.5. So you'd think they'd be able to put up a decent battle. Uh, all right, come here. I'm gonna try to charge him. Yep, there we go. Yeah, so even then, like, my charge attacks aren't doing as much damage as they normally would do if Yoshi weren't giant. But just because he is giant, he is uh, a little more immune to some of the hits that he gets hit by. So, I mean, that's good. Because it goes to show you being giant does isn't all that useless. And, like, Foxes and F or Falco and Pikmin are just standing there. There you go. Took Yoshi out. Not bad at all. Pretty easy battle, I should say. I mean, this is this is a pretty quick one. Given the fact that it's on 7.5, I'm surprised that I'm doing it this quickly. Ah, and then I say that now, and then I jinx myself. I, I'll jinx myself somehow, and then I'll end up screwing myself big time. But uh, it looks like we are going to be taking on Ness. Uh, so this is going to be fun. Here we go, in Earthbound City. <sighs> Alright, so... What I ended up realizing when I played this level before again online, not online, it was actually when I was playing local with my friend Munching Orange. Um, there's a thing that will spawn, I'm not sure what the thing is named because I've never played Earthbound before, but if you attack it first, it actually assists you, it acts like an assist trophy, so whenever it spawns, there it is, it spawns. So I'm gonna try to get it before Ness gets it, because if Ness gets it, then that will really screw me over. So once you attack it, it immediately becomes your slave and it will help assist you kill Ness, or whoever's pretty much on the stage. So that's pr pretty much the way to go, because watch, it'll deal so much damage on him. But if that thing spawns and it attacks you, because the other opponent launched it, or uh, or hit it, I guess, what will happen will, um, it will do lots of damage, and you will have to try to kill it before you are able to kill Ness or whatever, whoever you're pretty much battling. And there you go. Thanks to that, I was able to take out Ness really easily. <sighs> Not bad at all. Alright, so, it looks like we have, like, one more stage before we take on Master Hand. Not really sure what I want to do now. If I want to do Master Hand or Master Hand and Crazy Hand with um, Master Core, I'm not really sure. But it looks like we are going to be taking on Team Mario here in this lovely old uh, Paper Mario Sticker Star level. I love how they put Paper Mario Sticker Star level here, but they didn't actually put like Paper Mario Sticker Star music. They put Mario and Luigi Dream Team music. It's called Try Try. Or try try again. I don't remember the exact name for the song, but it's hands down one of my favorite songs in Mario and Luigi Dream Team. Look at that! Two Mario splattered on my screen. Who else seeks death? Come here, Mario. He will die. I could just stand in this little corner. The thing that I don't like about this level is how the well, I mean, I like how the level changes into different sceneries and whatnot. Like there's this, then there's a boat part, and then the final part of the the level change is uh, Bowser's castle from Paper Mario Sticker Star, and that has like maybe three little baby platforms. So every time I'd play on that, I'd always end up suiciding myself. I remember playing it for the first time ever using Little Mac. And then I like side beat and then I, I just killed myself. I suicided because you can't recover from that. But, oh man. I'm going to try to kill them before we get to that final phase of the battle because that will totally suck. Okay, there goes one. Now there's just one last Mario. It's the Fire Mario. We killed Peppermint Mario, real Mario, and now it's Fire Mario. Oh god, he's probably going to kill me, isn't he? He's totally going to kill me. Unless I can kill him first. Oh, it's the squid. Look at him. 
It's that giant squid that we have to battle from Paper Mario Sticker Star. I actually did a Let's Play on Paper Mario Sticker Star. You guys probably aren't familiar with it, but if you are, hey, what's up, man? Oh, Jesus, he killed me. All right, that's fine, that's fine. We got this, come on. The stage is about to change. All right, it was either now or never, because how pathetic would it have been if it changed to the final, like, part of the stage and then I died just by falling or something? I would have been so pissed off. Really, I would have I would have rage quit. I would have restarted all of this because it wouldn't have been worth it But you know, I'm gonna actually take on master hand because I feel like I'm doing pretty all right And I don't want to ruin this because I want a 7.5 in the end Master hand all right, here we go Oh my goodness guys, I died twice the first time was just me being extremely careless and the second time was because he actually killed me and uh I couldn't really do much about it. He has this phase where he will start spawning platforms and I'll be at the edge of one of the platforms at the end and as I'm about to come down, he'll grab me and then he'll toss me and then he'll start flailing his hand like creating waves of wind and then that will prevent me from being able to recover or being able to grab on any sort of platform or the edge of this stage making it impossible for me to recover. But, uh, I'm just being- oh my goodness! I'm being so careless right now. Let me just, uh, adjust my fingers. Ah, oh, man. Gosh, this sucks. Really sucks, because I tried doing this on 7.5, and now it's 6.5. Because when you, I died twice, it goes down by 0.5. So now that I went down by 0.5, oh my goodness, please don't. If I die again, I'm totally restarting. There's absolutely no way. I cannot redeem myself after this. I have to restart if I die again. <sighs> okay. Just just don't attack me. Don't attack me yet. Don't attack me yet. Don't attack. Oh, he did. Too late. Too late. I'm over 100. Yeah, there's, there's no way I'm going to make it out of this one alive. How did I block that one? Okay. I'm not going to complain about it. Nope. Don't snap your fingers. Oh, man. As soon as he snaps his fingers, I get stunned. I just got to get some good charge attacks underneath him. Okay, like that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Spam. Spam. Spam, there we go, we're doing it, we're doing it guys, we are doing it. Uh oh, here comes the platforms. Now what I realized is when they, when he does these platform things, you want to always stand at the far uh, left side because it's easier to recover from being on that side as opposed to standing right in front of him. Because then you'll either land on top of him and then he can grab you and throw you or kill you. Sometimes he'll throw you like on his side which will toss you off the stage and you can't recover from it like one time i played this on eight and i i swear to god i was falling and i tried recovering but he grabbed me while i was in the air like falling to die and then he tossed me just to ensure that he got that kill but you know either way we still did it on 6.5 i didn't improve from my last record at all i played this on 6.5 for the first time and Turns out I died again twice, or I died just twice, and uh, I couldn't increase my my score. But you know, this was in fact the first time that I played Shulk, uh, or I mean, not the first time, but it's I'm still very new to Shulk. He's a new character to me, and I'm not used to playing with him at all. So uh, it's definitely gonna take some practice and time. Uh, in the meanwhile, I'm gonna skip over this. And I want you guys right now to leave your suggestions on who you'd like to see me play as in the next classic mode run. Remember, it could be any one of the new characters. Once we are done with the new characters, we'll go back and we'll continue it the way we were doing it, just in order and whatnot. But thank you guys for watching. Remember, leave a, leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys next time.